What's up, everybody? Jason Messer here, Editor-in-Chief at Cheat Code Central. And today, if you're a wrestling fan like I am, as you can see, I've got my NWO gear on. Now, I'm a wrestling fan in the sense that, uh, you know, I still keep up with it. I don't watch Raw and SmackDown uh, as much as I used to. In fact, I don't really watch it regularly at all, um, simply because the product itself is not something I'm interested in following as of today, but we got some news today that might change all of that, and it might change it real quick. So we found out today that two icons from the uh, wrestling world are stepping in to take over two flagship shows for the WWE. Uh, it looks like both Paul Heyman and Eric Bischoff have been brought in in an executive role, uh, essentially showrunners for both Raw and SmackDown, respectively. So, uh, Heyman is going to be uh, heading up the Raw uh, program, and Eric Bischoff is going to be over on SmackDown. Now, it takes a lot for me as a wrestling fan. I've been watching it since I was a kid, so that means I'm a little bit jaded. Um, it takes something to really impress me or make me sit up and, and take notice. Nothing on the current programming or the current pay per views is really doing that. Uh, I'm more of, at this point, I get more enjoyment out of the behind the scenes and the interviews and, and a lot of the, the business aspect of it or what, it, what goes on behind, like I said, behind the scenes. That to me is more interesting. This though will absolutely get me watching again. Now, I don't know when they take over, um, officially, but I do know this. If there were ever two people that could interject a much needed change into the current WWE programming product, I can think of no two better people than Eric Bischoff and Paul Heyman, specifically Bischoff. Heyman has his line about how, you know, when his on air character, he talks about how uh, people are Heyman guys. I'm a Bischoff guy. I'm someone who has always respected Eric Bischoff for the contributions that he uh, brought to the wrestling world. The Monday Night Wars, absolutely one of the most fun, entertaining periods of my life watching any kind of television, not just wrestling. And that is directly because of what Bischoff was able to do over there on uh, Nitro during, you know, 96, 97, 98, that kind of that late 90s period. And, and of course, Heyman is uh, right up there. He, you know, credit where credit is due. He's, you know... By all accounts, one of the sharpest minds and most creative people in the industry. But I will say, Heyman has always been a little bit more of a loose cannon. So I can see how putting Bischoff into his position is going to absolutely benefit not only the product, but more of a corporate buttoned up type like Bischoff, I think is going to fit into that, uh, the corporate aspect of it as far as... Um, because obviously Heyman is on Raw. He's he's part of the the brand. He's he's but he's he's an on air character in pretty much all aspects right now. He doesn't really have, as far as I know, he doesn't have any behind the scenes role up until now. Um, so to fit him, just to pluck him out of just being a character, which he's just you know he's developing a character and the creative aspect of, of, of being an on air talent is one thing being a behind the scenes executive and a showrunner. That's two different things. I can see Bischoff sliding into that position. That's, that's round hole, round peg. That's perfect. No, no troubles there. Heyman. I'm not so sure about, I don't know how that's going to work out. Um, but we'll see. I mean, but as far as just his, his creative mind, and especially in this goes with Eric as well, what they hopefully are going to be able to bring to the table in a shift in programming, hopefully we'll get the WWE out of their slump. Now, is this a direct a is this a direct uh, response or reaction to the success of AEW and some of the things that they've been doing recently? Yeah, probably not. I mean, I can't say that it's completely unrelated because AEW is beginning a is beginning a has been getting a lot of hype. It's gone an upward trajectory as to where the WWE product has been consistently stagnant and sometimes dropping in the ratings. And it, it, your average wrestling fan does not have a great opinion of the current WWE product. So I would say, now that's been happening a while, and that's not something that's directly related to AEW. But believe me, the, a new promotion that's getting that much positive hype is not helping the situation. So this may be the perfect storm of things to where the some of the folks behind the scenes, and is it Vince doing this? I don't know. 
uh, notoriously Vince has been a, you know, more of an albatross around the product improving and getting better. And, and by all accounts, everyone behind the scenes talks about how the creative process in WWE right now is a mess. It's terrible. Um, the, the product on television obviously is suffering because of that. And it's not a great time to be a talent in the WWE as far as, you know, creative storytelling is concerned. Enter Bischoff and Heyman. There are two, there are no more two creative people that you could put in those positions to hopefully jolt the product um, out of its, this rut that it's in, I guess you would say. And also you, you have somebody like Triple H who's also overseeing a lot of the NXT stuff. And by all, you know, everybody would say that has, has watched that product. It's actually one of the better products WWE puts on. So with this new trifecta of Heyman, uh, Bischoff and Hunter, all managing their three main brands, are we going to see a serious uptick or change in the quality of the programming? And how is that going to happen? Now, some people may remember, you know, Bischoff's involvement in TNA and uh, when he, he and Hogan came in together and they, it was a huge shakeup and they decided to do a lot of things differently. And a lot of people don't look at that period in TNA as necessarily a great period in the company. Um, I would suggest that maybe they were probably a little more victims of circumstance as far as, you know, their, their success there, but TNA is another video for another day. But I can tell you as a fan, getting the news that Heyman and Bischoff are now going to be heading up Raw and SmackDown, those are, that's great news to somebody like me. I want to see that, get the fresh blood in there. Hopefully they will shake things up enough to make something happen, to make me want to watch again, because... Frankly, you know, I've had the network at different points. I've subscribed and unsubscribed. Um, Raw and SmackDown, specifically Raw, used to be one of the only reasons I would keep my uh, cable service because, you you know, watching that live and watching it or DVRing it. But now at this point, I don't watch it enough to really justify that. So I really need, I needed something. If there was going to be something that pulls me back, it was going to need to be something major. It was going to be a, it needs to be a huge shift in the product. I can't stress this enough. The product itself needs to do a complete 180 and in a different direction. Now, I don't pretend to be a wrestling genius. I don't know what direction that needs to be. I just know change needs to come. And I'm hoping that both uh, Bischoff and Heyman are going to bring that much needed change. And I'm absolutely ve looking very forward to seeing what they do with it. And again, this is not an on-air. Um, these are not on-air character roles. And I don't know if Heyman's going to be pulled off television with his role from, you know, being Brock's manager. Don't expect uh, Bischoff to show up on SmackDown all that much. I mean, he might some, but for the most part, this is a behind the scenes role. And I am very much looking forward to seeing how this is actually going to all play out. Now, what I want to hear is what do you think of this, uh, this news that Bischoff and Heyman are going to be uh, running the shows? Are you fans of theirs? Are you not? What do you want to see change? Leave those comments in the comment section below. Remember, I answer 100% of all the new, uh, all the comments on my new YouTube videos, because again, that's what I love most is interacting with you guys and chatting it up. So be sure to leave that in the comment section. You can also subscribe to me on all social media at Jason Messer. Uh, like the videos, uh, subscribe on YouTube, of course, and you can follow also Cheat Code Central uh, on social media as well. Again, thanks for watching, and I will be checking those comments sections, so let me know what you think of Paul Heyman and Eric Bischoff taking over, taking over uh, two of the biggest shows, not only in the history of the company, let's not forget this, Raw and SmackDown are respectively, uh, and historically, two of the biggest performing network shows in the history of television. Uh, Raw is the longest running episodic show, I think, behind The Simpsons. I don't know if they overtook them yet or not, but... Um, these shows have been going for decades and with no signs of stopping and it's new content every week. So it's going to be interesting to see what they do with those shows in their new roles.